This channel is about people being honest about what they really think. I spoke to Razor, a rapper in the UK grime scene, and this is what he had to say. What's good, bro? Long yes. time, man. Yeah, long time, man. <laughs> what are you saying, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. Um, so thank you for coming to chat to me today. Yeah. Support the cool, channel. Um, what was life growing up? Uh, what was life like, sorry, growing up uh, in London? Where did you grow up? Where were you born? Like? Um, I was born in Central Middlesex. London, um, hospital, which is like Harlesden sides, yeah. northwest in it. Um, grew up in Chalk Hill Estate mm -hmm. till I was about twelve, and then I moved to like Kingsbury in my teen years and stuff in it. Right, wow, that's northwest, northwest, northwest. <laughs> Damn, that's North Weezy yeah, for yeah. real. Yeah, man. Um, did you have siblings? Growing yeah, up? yeah. All funny enough, like all my siblings are like. Um, like they're all like half siblings in it okay so, so it's not like we really all like lived in the same house and stuff but we're like just like half siblings so yeah we grew up in um in like a very like religious house mm. sort of thing um Reli what what was the religion uh seventh day adventist okay yeah, yeah so yeah it was a bit it was a bit strict at the same time because certain times i'd want to do things on saturday like yeah. play football and that and then like my mum weren't having it and then um yeah, I grew up with, like, my mum was, like, a single parent as well. Yeah. And I used to see my dad's and, like, my dad on, like, weekends and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much how I grew up, man. Without overstepping, yeah. did your, like, did your dad have, like, how come everyone was, like, half siblings? And, and by yeah. the way, how many siblings? So, my dad, so, like, I'm from, um, like, my parents are from Jamaica originally. Yeah. And my dad has seven kids and yeah. six of them he had in Jamaica and I'm the youngest, I'm the only one he had in this country. Okay. And then when he came over, he met my mum in it and my mum already had, my mum had kids in Jamaica as well, then she sent for them, then she came here, she had my brother and sister. Yeah. And it was just, then when she said, it was like five of us in that, in that house. Wow. In that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, but yeah, all my dad's other kids, they just pretty much stayed in Jamaica. Innit? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you guys close? Are you close with everyone or nah. to only certain ones? Or? I'm probably not, maybe my sister. My okay. sister, but everyone else, not really, man. It's a bit, it's a bit of a okay, yeah, a little cool one. Yeah, I think it's like when when you ain't got the same biological father, sometimes mm. it can cause. Because I, I was always told that because my dad was always around. My older brother was like, oh, but you had your dad, so you, so you got away with that. You say that to you, yeah. My okay. older brother, like, you got your dad, so he would always support you. My dad, ain't here, da, da, da. so he had that sort of like. Envy. Um, yeah, yeah. That little en that envy thing going on, and um, at the same time, I feel like because my dad was there, I was more. I did probably get into less trouble, and I probably w did have that fear of like, oh, there's a man. Like, if I do something, my dad's gonna like, mm. you know what I mean? And my older brother didn't. He never had that, so he was a bit more wilder than me. Not saying that my mum weren't doing a good job or whatever, but mm. it's different if you're a boy and you got like a male role model to look up to in it. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. So, yeah, for, for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, um, what, what, what's your earliest memory of like being into music? Um, earliest memory is it was when I was mad, it's like, yeah, mid 90s. I think my older brother he had like, um, he used to listen to a lot of Wu Tang in it, yeah, yeah. He's so, and then his, his favorite rapper was Method Man, okay, at the time. And then, because he used to listen to that, he became like my favorite rapper at the time. Yeah. And then the first like song I remember was, um, or a song I remember like remembering the lyrics for was uh, Method Man, Mary J. Blige. Yo, You're all oh, I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's like my first, like, that's the, when I think of like how I got introduced to music, it's probably that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's definitely mid 90s, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like 94, 95, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then how did, you know, was there like a development of your passion for music from there? Um, I feel like because I was always around music, mm. um, even like in church and stuff, like my mum used to sing and mm. like gospel and that. And then we had like the, the um, West Indian influence mm. like because of my family. And then obviously growing up here, we had the UK garage. And then like naturally this country is like drawn to America, the American culture in it. So yeah. it was literally... I had all that going on, so um, yeah, that's that's what it was, man. Okay. Yeah. Who's your favorite rapper? 
today. <laughs> I got a weird choice of rappers, so everyone would look at me and be like, "What? what why do you like him?" Da, da, da. But I, I'm I'm more like I focus on like lyricism and stuff. And if I, if I think about it, what UK or US or um, let's go. Nah, all all all, oh, all in. Oh, yeah. wow. Top five from both. From UK and yeah, yeah, all in top top five Fucking all in. Hell, okay, I'll give you top six because <laughs> it's because it's quite difficult. I'll give yeah, you that's top difficult, six man. Because um, I don't know. Because there's certain times I feel like you'd go through a phase of listening to someone, yeah, and then you grow out of them, and then you're like someone else. So there's a certain time where I was like, this person's the best, but then now they kind of stop releasing music. Yeah. So then it kind of draws my. I don't know. I feel like it, it depends on like longevity as well. So, yeah. Go on. I, I, like, no particular order. No particular order, because right. that's even harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I say Getz. Okay. Getz is in there. Um, Papoose is in there. Okay. I know everyone's like, oh, Papoose, what? No, nah, <laughs> I, I feel you. I okay, feel okay. you. Yeah, lyrical. Yeah, yeah, yeah Lyrical yeah. masterclasses, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who else? Who else? Don't know about top six, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say Nas as well. Yeah, okay. Nas, um... But are we talking about like just as a whole, or just if yeah, you, as whatever a whole. I think? What, yeah, just right, your your so. top six rappers. All right, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do three from UK, three from US. Okay, go on. Yeah, so I say Rich, Gets, and I'm gonna say Wiley. Okay. Just because he's the like the farmer. pioneer. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Then I say Nas, Eminem. I listen to a lot of Jada Kiss as well and like Deluxe, but I say, I say Eminem, Nas, Papoose. No Jay Z. I know everyone says that oh as well. My everyone gosh. says that as well. Like what you don't what Jay Z's not in there. Oh it? my <laughs> god. Yo. Do you know what it is? I, I like I rate Jay Z and stuff, but I, I never always understood what he was about. It's only now yeah. I'm older I kind of understanding what he's about. But yeah. growing up, I was like. You know, I, I don't want to hear. Not a lot, like a, lot of the, a lot of the lyrics will go. Over yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. <laughs> um, so you've done as an artist yourself. You've done quite a few collabs. I've yeah. noticed. Yeah. Um, how do collabs work? Like, how 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 does um, that kind of thing happen? Do you have a manager? Like, nah. what what goes on behind the scenes to make collabs happen? Um, well, for myself, because I've always been like an independent artist, I've never really had a manager. I think I had one for like. Four months and then it just fizzled out. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it came down to like I was doing a lot of shows, mm. like networking and then meeting, the, like going to a lot of performances and stuff. And then like you just normally interact with people, mm. and then it usually happens that way. But there's certain collabs that I've done. So for i.e. like Cadet, the Cadet collab, and I done a tune with Gappy Ranks a couple of years ago. I knew Gappy Ranks' his brother. Mm. Cause he, yeah, and then he just put me in contact with Gappy. Then we got the tune line, and R.I.P. Cadet. But when Cadet was like alive, I literally just DM'd him and I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do a tune," and then we done the tune. So yeah. Is there is there like a bit of putting your pride to the side involved <laughs> if you if you if you're at a show yeah. and you and you're networking, you gotta like I'm assuming you gotta like put your pride to the side to go up to someone and say, yeah. "Yo, like." You but know. do you know what it is? Usually because I'm usually reserved. Yeah. So sometimes I just let people come to me. Okay. That sort of thing. But then, or, you know. What like, if they don't? Do, or do they always? Nah, not really. So, okay. so, and then sometimes I might go up to them. If it's too busy, you know, you follow their Insta or whatever, and then mm. you message them, and then be like, yeah, I saw you perform. It was sick. Da, da, da. If you want to collab, that sort of thing, innit? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cause um yeah, it's, it's it can be difficult to kind of put yourself out there like that. But I suppose when you're focused Yeah yeah, yeah. you just it is what it is. And it, it just can't it, like when you're in the right place at the right time and it, people like to talk about the universe or whatever, it just will naturally happen, innit? Or just naturally come. Yeah. Sort of Did you do something with Kelly LaRock or my am I No no no. I uh, Kelly LaRock had a um she had a show and I was just backstage with her and my okay. church and that. Yeah. yeah, I saw her perform recently. Um, I went to a show where she performed, Terry Walker performed. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And someone else. Where was who, that? Where was that? Oh, that was um, in Hammersmith. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. They, they rocked it, man. Yeah, of course, yeah, of course, good. yeah. Um, so, the music business, 
what can you what can what insight can you give us into the music business because you, you, obviously you gotta be strong man you gotta be <laughs> you, gotta, right. you gotta have like you gotta be mentally strong for like not even like it's just every it's like everyone's out for themselves yeah in, in the music industry do you know what i mean and mm. um i've like i've been bumped bare times like in the music. like money was yeah oh, bare bumps. No. i've been i've been promised like yeah we're gonna do this for you gonna do that um I could give you examples. Even even like the collab I done with Cadet, like his manager was being a prick in it. His manager at the time, yeah, was being a prick in it. And I, you know, what I mean, like Cadet was cool, but his manager was just like, I was like, "What's wrong with this guy?" Sort of thing. Yeah. Um, what happened? Like, what did he? What, nah. What did he so do? basically, um, wanted to do the tune with Cadet. Wanted to do a video as well, innit? it? Yeah. Um, but Cadet was always like, "Oh, I'll speak to my manager. He he do, deals with that stuff." Yeah. So I spoke to his manager, and his, his manager would like, so we contacting each other through emails, he'll give me like one word answers or like blunt. Oh, and then I'm just like, so anyway, I, I wanted to release the video in May, innit? So, yeah. so you guys filmed it? Nah, I done, oh. we didn't film it. I, I done like an animated video for it. Okay, okay. Um, so I wanted to, f so I done the animated video. Now I said to him, I want, I want to do a video. His, his manager never responded to that. He was just like, oh, we'll send you the verse when he has it. I was like, yeah. all right, cool. Anyway. He never said nothing about doing a video. I still wanted to do a video, so I've done an animated video for it. I've sent him the animated video. He sends me, <laughs> sends me an email back in capital letters. Yeah, if you, but he, if you release this video, we will, like, we will not be behind promoting it. All this sort of like... Why? It was a thing where, it, to me, it made, I think his manager wanted control over like, just control. Oh, God. So it was like, he was like, um, no, he said, if you don't, you can release this video, but you have to wait till like April. He's telling me, and it's my song. Oh, my So he's God. like, you have to wait till April. So then, back then, I was like, I was trying to just, because obviously Cadet was, you know. Yeah, he's a big, big yeah. artist. So I was, I was like trying to like keep my tail between my legs in it. So I was like, cool. So then, even when I like, I posted like a trailer of it on Insta at the time, and Cadet was like, oh, this is sick. But then I weren't getting the same energy from his, his manager. Mm. <laughs> so then I must have, um, yeah, so anyway, I, I sent him the, the animated video, like a clip of it. Next thing I know, literally he sent me that message, if you release this, blah, 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 blah. Then like two weeks later, Cadet had an animated video called, I forgot what it's called, Who They Know, or he, he had a, like, and I was thinking, raw, like, how come like I've done this, and now you've got one? So, so anyway, time came, April came, I'm like, yeah, um, I'm ready to release the song now. Oh, we've got this tune that Cadet's done with Tiny Tempo. We've got this tune. We're going to have to push your one back, the song that you want to do back. That's what he's saying to me. The one with Tiny Tempo, was it? Cadet, it was on uh, Tiny Tempo. Was it animated? Tempo. No, no, no. Okay. That's just a song he had. Okay. But I think, I think they wanted to, like, maybe because, like, when Cadet released stuff, they wanted to space it out so it wasn't, okay. like, congested and okay, stuff. Okay, yeah. So then... April's come, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna release a song. He's like, ah, oh, wait till June. So he's, he's, he's doing all this stuff. So I'm like, okay, cool. Wait till June, oh, I wanna release this now. Ah. Oh, Yo, whatever. if he said, if, he, if I said, I wanna release this in April and he said, wait till June, I would've waited till June and then released it. No, but yeah, so he was doing that. Without not even asking them again. But no, nah, that's, exa that's exactly what happened. So he said June, and then he was like, oh, you got to wait till September. So new, he kept trying to like always push, push it, them up. Push it. So then I, I just released it. I yeah. released it. I didn't care. After, I thought, I'm, I don't care if you promote it or not. Yeah. Like, so I, I released it, and then I sent out like a blast of emails. He just sent me back a message, take me off your mailing list. And that's the last time I spoke to him. Never wow. spoke to me. Yeah. <laughs> so Terrible. just stuff like that. Yeah. Stuff like that. It's mad. And then... Even um, years ago, I got nominated for an official mixtape award, best newcomer. It's like ten years ago, and then even, <coughs> even a guy from that organisation was like, "Yeah, we could do this for you, do that for you." This, like, obviously, I ain't got a manager, so I was doing everything myself, negotiating mm. myself. Mm. Gave him some money. Never seen him again. Ain't seen him since like 2013. Don't know where he's gone. Asking about, yeah, it's mad. <laughs> it's mad. The industry is. It's, but that's why I say you have to be strong in it because yeah. it's like, um, it, I feel like being in the music industry as well, it teaches you how to survive in the real world as well because yeah. you can either react to things because yeah. I could have been like, yeah, watch, da da da, whatever. Yeah. Or you can just be like, all right, cool, I'm going to turn a blind out and just do my own thing and just, you know, 
re- make you regret that mm. you treated me that way. Do you know what I mean? And just so you mean so you mean to tell me like all these guys? I mean, maybe not all, but yeah. definitely at least some of these guys who are like out there now yeah, at yeah. the top. Like you know, take your pick: your Skeptors, D Doubles, yeah. or I don't know who's who's out nowadays. Central C, yeah, or, yeah, yeah Central C. All these other people. Yeah. Well, maybe not Central C because I know he's got a marketing machine yeah, behind yeah, him. Yeah. So, but all the other independent artists that kind of did their thing, they would have had to go through all 100%, these... 100%. Man, 100%. Man, I've got a new respect for, for <laughs> man, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 100%. And that's that's the thing as well. Um, obviously, in the music, like music, like money doesn't really come that often, mm. in it? you got to like invest and just believe in yourself and just invest, 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 and then just be like, one day it's going to pay off. Mm. See what I'm saying? So, would you Would you regard yourself as a artist or up and coming still like, it's, well, it's, it's, it's weird I, I'd say an artist but it's weird it's because and I, I, I think about this a lot because I think being like a lot of people know of my music and know of me mm. and stuff in it but I, I haven't hit that height I've wanted to hit mm. if that makes sense um, so I guess in some in some ways I'm still up and coming yeah, but then in some ways I'm I'm like kind of established, but it's it's one of those things where I don't know when someone blows up, like someone could be underground for years and then they blow up, and then people be like, oh that new rapper, yeah, but and then and then yeah, and then, yeah. Yeah, and then you know like I'm like I searched the underground in it, so when people are telling me like when Rich came out, oh he this new rapper Rich, I was like what like <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. to them it's like because. They don't know until it goes mainstream. Yeah. So I feel like sometimes people could know you, but you're known on like an underground level. Yeah, yeah. And then when you like burst through, then it's like, oh, he's new. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, your music's um, like known for being quite passionate, real. Yeah. Come like you don't cap in your in your bars. <laughs> it's like real stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> um, how come? Um, Why don't you cap? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't cap because um, there's a few reasons, but when I first started doing music, um, I, I've noticed there's a lot of rappers out there that would be like, yeah, got a big chain, got a big watch, got mm. all that stuff. And um, I first thing in my head, I was like, I was like, people that know me before I do music or before I blow up, I was like, I don't want them to have anything to hold over me. So if I'm honest, with myself and honest in my music, mm. no one could hold that against me. And it come like um, Eminem. In yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, no one could hold that against me. And at the same time, um, it's, I can't really explain it, but because like I'm more reserved in real life, like you know here, and then people hear my music be like, "Oh, you're a different person." Mm. But it's, I think it's just like me channeling my anger. Like I said before, instead of like wanting to fight someone or beat someone, I'll just put it in my music yeah. and then just channel it that way. Love that. Yeah, yeah, love that. I'd, I'd encourage um, more, more like young people to do that. Yeah, hundred um, percent. That's one of that's one of the good things about drill. I think like people say like there's a negative side, you know, all the all the chefings and that yeah, that it yeah, promotes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's a there is a point there, but at the same time, you know, I'm I'm I like to think that a lot of young people are doing what you just described, yeah. which is putting their anger and frustration yeah. and whatever into the music, into writing it and making it, yeah. rather than actually living these things out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. 100%. What do you What do you think about drill? Like, <laughs> um, <clears throat> and, like, young people, how it affects, like, young people in the community? I, I, and all that. Drill, to me, like, I, I, I don't mind drill, innit? But I think, I've always said, like, people have always said, oh, you don't like... But I, I they talk about, like, selling drugs and all that stuff. Mm. I can't relate to it because I've never done that. Mm. So, like, obviously some people can be like, nah, but it's the vibe, it's the flow, it's the wave. Yeah, it can be, but as as the the message going out, I personally can't relate to it. So maybe if I was, like, moving like that back in the day or even now, I could be like, yeah, I get that. Oh, that's mm. sick, da, da, da. Mm. But I can't personally relate to that. Yeah, yeah. but the ones who can and, ma- and make yeah. music, you know, about their lives. yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, it it just so happens that a lot of it tends to be negative and, yeah, yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. But it's true. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. What what do you think about that? Um, like I say, if that's the life you're living and yeah. that's you know your way of venting or getting whatever off your chest, mm. write about it. But at the same time, 
know that it's like try and make a change for yourself and you haven't yeah. always got a that's not the road you have to take there's other op there's a lot more other options out yeah. there in life in it there's a difference between glamorization yeah. of it yeah and, and and then like just keeping it real yeah yeah, like, yeah. without necessarily trying to gra glamorize do you think they it. glamorize it i think some people do i think some people cap and and glamorize it go out of their way to yeah, cap yeah. and glamorize yeah, it yeah, yeah. because like you said it's the wave it's the yeah, yeah yeah and then but i think there are some people like there's people i know I know personally, I know rappers who I can vouch for every single thing they said and it sounds like a movie, but yeah, I, I know, yeah, I yeah. know for sure. Like the guy that I told you that you look like and sound like, <laughs> I, I know him. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, man, yeah. Group, like I know. I, I hear so, that all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. so I can vouch for that because yeah. I know. Yeah, That's yeah. true. Um, but there's other people who, you know, it's, it's a shame that, they, they feel like they have to do that. Do you feel like all of them are living that life, though? Or? Um, I, you know, I don't know everyone personally, obviously, but there's certain things I hear, and because of my own personal journey, there's yeah. certain things I hear, and I'm like, I know that's not true. Yeah. Like, yeah, even, yeah. I don't know you, I wasn't there, but I know that, I, <laughs> you know, I just know. Is that how they're um, telling the story? Or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, there's just certain things that I just, yeah, it's just not, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. I hear you. Uh, and then there's certain people who I can feel it, man. Mm, yeah, I hear you. You know what I'm saying? I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's one of them ones. Um, let's go on to, like, well, with the music, with being in the music business and being an artist, how mm. does. Have you been in a relationship, like? Yeah, what during? during yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, and 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 how's how's that worked out? How, Do you know what it is? Wow. When I was first starting coming up and stuff, mm -hmm. like a lot of women were like, "Oh, you little music thing, da da da." But the more like I've done, the more I've progressed, it turns into like, wait a minute, yeah, <laughs> like, why is that girl touching you like that in your video? Or why is that like I've had that as well? Like, like so, um, it can be. It depends. It depends what sort of female is if there's a if you're dating a woman that's kind of like in the industry as well she may understand that more if you're trying to date like a, a regular woman that's doing a nine to five and you know does has never been with a rapper before it can like mind fuck them in it do you know mm, what i mean mm, <laughs> so mm, mm. i've been in like with like one of my exes she was pretty cool with me yeah. being in then i've dated someone where yeah, it's, it's, it actually, like, the way she gets upset, it's like, are you being serious sort of thing? Like, are you? <laughs> yeah. You mean you're like, are you being serious? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so, yeah, there was a time where I, I posted, like, some pictures of me and females and stuff. Obviously, I do, I got videos of women in it as well. Yeah. But this specific woman, she doesn't like model-looking women. She likes regular women. So if I'm, like, next to a model, ah. Oh, Jealousy. Yeah, yeah, all that jealousy, all that, you know, it's, it could just be mad. You know, they say, like, um, you know, artists, you know, do a lot of cheating. And <laughs> right do you know, to, yeah. I'll, I'll be honest, during the whole time I've done music, been doing music, in actual, the music industry, there's only probably been, like, two women that I've got with. One was actually my ex and one was just, like, a, a fling. Okay. So I, yeah. I, yeah. So I'm not really yeah. in. You're, not, you're, yeah. not, you're not on some Drake thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Exactly. Trying to marry fifty girls. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> um, what about like money? Um, how you know? Are you are you making it as an artist, money wise, or are you having to do other side hustles in the meantime? Like, what's what's yeah. the situation? Um, you make a bit of music like unless you're like Eminem or 50 Cent in it like yeah. you can just probably like with your streams and stuff but mm. yeah I make a bit of money off music but yeah I've got to do other stuff as well but yeah. even like a lot of um well known established artists like uh Tiana Taylor in it yeah. she said like she does music I think she's retiring or something but she says she does music but she doesn't really want to continue doing music because it doesn't really make her money Okay. And she says that she she gets her money from like other stuff. The so back end of yeah, yeah the popularity so, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So then yes. Everyone looks at it and thinks, Oh, like that person's caking or yeah. But then yeah, it's just 
sometimes it can just be a lie, innit? <laughs> I mean, um, I saw an interview with Rick Ross. Um, this is going back a couple months now. Yeah. And he, he, he was um, in an interview and he said, um, I've been doing, I've been rapping since, oh God, I can't remember when Rick Ross came out, man, but you know. Was people, it that Hustler tune, innit? People, that was years, that was, oh. Yeah, people watching or listening will know, but unless you can remember now, I can't remember. I think it was probably like mid, mid noughties, I'm guessing. Yeah. So he's been rapping since then. Yeah. And a, a few months ago, he said, uh, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe six months ago, maybe sometime towards the end, uh, beginning of the year. Yeah. He said, I'm only just now getting to the bag. See? And that's Rick Ross. See? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Worth how that, many million? Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> that's saying? That's what I'm saying, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely not what it looks like yeah, all the time. Yeah, you, you just got to have the passion for it and you just got to be like, you just got to throw yourself in at the deep end, innit? And then mm. just be like, this is what I love. It will pay off one day. Literally. Um, do you have any thoughts on mental health in the black community? Yeah, man, like... Um, a lot of like black males, they're, they're told to be like strong and you're not really meant to show your feelings or cry or all that stuff. Um, however, I, I like to think, I think I, like obviously in my music, you say I don't cap in it. So I mm. feel like if I've cried over something, I'm going to put it in a song or, mm. and I just don't really care. But a lot of people, they like suffer in silence. And it's not even they, they suffer in silence, like they suffer in a way like you can tell they're suffering mm. but they won't open up about it or they'll they'll lay it out in a different like they'll be angry or mood swing or punch the wall but do you know what i mean mm. um and yeah a lot of people a lot of like black males are like they don't be, like even even like my parents even like when i told my mom that yeah because i went therapy probably about two years ago okay and my mom being like an older west indian woman she was like you're going for what for <laughs> like, what do you need therapy for? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so it's in her brain, it's like, what? Nah, man, you don't need that, that rubbish. But at the same time, um, yeah, it helped me, innit? Yeah. It helps me. So I yeah. think, I think. If you, if you find the right therapist. Yeah. First of all, my opinion, we all need therapy. Yeah, yeah. Fact, all yeah, of us. Yeah. yeah. Um, but just not all of us understand that we do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, And if you find the right therapist, you're lucky. Yeah. Like, but you know. even even like writing bars and stuff, it's your, your, form you're therapy. like your own, yeah, you're yeah. your own therapist in some sort of way, innit? Yeah, so, for I mean, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, has racism affected you in your career so far um, in the music and then just you as a man, black man in general, um, growing up in London, living in London? Um, not in, not really in the music industry. Okay. I haven't really felt racism there. Um, in my life though, I have, but it's funny because the racism I've actually felt, because one time I got stopped by a, a police officer mm. and, um, not, I expect like white police officers to like try to throw their weight around in front of me and be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. but this time I felt like I got, uh, like targeted by a black police officer. Interesting. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. he was doing the most. Was then, he? Was he with white? Oh, white. He was with a white. Yeah. Female. He's, he's got. He's got to pledge his allegiance. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, them. yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what I think it is. He was doing the most. Like yeah. he was like he stops me with my car and he was like, "This car ain't got insurance." I was like, "I, I know this car has insurance. I pay my insurance every month." Then he looked at it and he was like, "Well, um, you're driving somewhere." And it said, your insurance is for pleasure or something. It, right. Like, he tried to tell me I had the wrong insurance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, and I was, I was just like, whatever. And then he was like, oh, uh, the back, your backlight doesn't work. And, da, 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 da. and he was kept staring me in my face. Like, he wanted me to like be like, mm. shut up. Da, da, da. Yeah. And I was just like, okay. He had me there for like half an hour. I was just like, yeah, cool. He done every search possible. Went back to the car, kept talking to the woman. Nah, nah, calling... Oh, I see free. Da, da, da. Mm. I was just like, oh, this mm. guy's doing the most. And mm. that, and it's weird because, like, I don't remember getting that sort of racism from... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. as, as if I say racism, like... It is racism because, listen, he has to pledge his allegiance. Yeah. <laughs> he has to show his um, white 
colleague yeah. that listen I'm on our team yeah yeah, like, yeah. I hate these lot just as much as you do <laughs> that's yeah do you remember that scene in um is don't, it boys, um, boys don't get mad don't yeah, get yeah, yeah, boys yeah, 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 don't yeah, yeah. Menace. yeah yeah exactly yeah. And those then, who know will know yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> um I, I, I have felt racism as well but it's, it's mainly like dating a a woman that's not my race and like her parents his family is what was she like, like Indian okay yeah 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 parents family was like so that's a bit of a yeah. yeah but even that's not racism to my face that's that's like you know yeah yeah <laughs> yeah I've seen that I've, yeah it happens in it yeah, yeah. <laughs> bit man enough times yeah um so you know what even even going back to that black police officer do you think nah this is probably nothing to do with it but yeah. like it's it's what about colorism in our community, in the black community? That's another thing I was going to say. Growing yeah. up as well, and this is another thing, um, saying like different siblings and stuff. So even when I was a, my, my older sister, she's light skinned, isn't it? So mm. she's lighter than me. And growing up, she used to be like, oh, black attack, black attack, black oh, attack to me. Do you know what I mean? This, yeah. And then I remember one time my mum caught her and just beat her, beat the lip. And I've, I've noticed it in. Um, like I've been, uh, I've been on holiday with like light skinned guys or whatever, and <laughs> yeah. they think like they're, you know, they're the shit. Yeah. And then like a girl will be there, and then that girl will be interested in me and not him, and he, it's like it, it drives him crazy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it's yeah. just like, uh, I, I don't know, man. But that's that's the sort of um, colorism I experience. Being like it's like light skin versus dark skin, mm. and to be honest, I don't even. I don't really care in it. We're all we're all black in it, so yeah. but it's just that's the sort of um colorism I've experienced. Mm. Do you think society cares, as in non blacks? Do you think they care? No. I I don't think they care. If you're black, you're black, innit? <laughs> yeah. I don't they don't give a damn. <laughs> yeah. So you don't think I mean some people say there's this thing called which I I think there is there is definitely there might be a point to it um but like color color privilege or something light skin privilege something like that like as in the lighter skinned you are I think you're more likely to i think that only happened like you know like in the slavery days where they call them what house yeah niggas. Ho house niggas yeah, and yeah, field niggas, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's the only i don't know if that happens today yeah you know what for me from from my personal experience obviously i don't know in mass but I, I, from what I see, I think that there's house niggas and field niggas today still. Yeah, yeah. In, obviously in, in modern ways. Yeah, but yeah. it's more down to behaviour than the colour of... Than, okay. Than colour. Yeah, that like, makes sense. Like, that makes as sense. in, within the black community, you, you'll get, like, a Tony Sewell, Sewell, the guy who wrote the Sewell report, to say there's no, there's no racism in Britain. <laughs> um, he's black, but he wrote that report and obviously, by doing that, he's going to get opportunities yeah, yeah, by course. your Boris Johnsons and your other yeah, 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 white yeah, politicians yeah, yeah. who he went to school with, who yeah. or whatever, who who asked and asked commissioned them to write this report. Yeah. So by doing that, you're going to get opportunities. Your you you and your family are going to be good. Of course. So you're a house nigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're willing yeah, yeah, 100%, to. Hundred percent. You know what I mean? To change, throw yeah, yeah. throw the community under the bus yeah, yeah. for yourself. <laughs> um, but you got like other people who are willing to just be honest all yeah, the time, 100%. regardless of what, 100%. what sounds good or not. Yeah. Um, who are, yeah, who are going to be the, the field niggas. So I think it's it's definitely there, but it's behaviour rather than skin tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Most, most of the time. 100%, yeah. yeah. Um, any um, opinions on the, the PMB rock situation? Obviously. Yeah, yeah, man, that's, oh, man, that's like, do you know what it is? Going back to, because obviously now, I don't know, it's happening more than ever. Mm. Like these rappers just PMB standing Rock, in the corner. PMB Rock, XXX, Tentacion. Nipsey. Uh, Nipsey, um, Pop Smoke. Young, Young, is it Young Dolph? Young Dolph. Uh, that was, that was gang related. Was that? that? Was, well, I, I, I don't know. I think so. I okay. think I remember at the time that was like a, Oh, shit. I hope I haven't just snitched on someone. <laughs> actually, actually, <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I thought it was... Anyway. Yeah? Okay, yeah. cool. Now, I, <laughs> I, I think, like... But apparently, I, I was reading up to today, and apparently, it's his girlfriend that posted a picture yeah. of their location or something, mm. which, and then someone went there and just showed him up. But then, at, at the same time, it's like... Like I said, innit? We could... 
we don't know if he's got money. Do you know what I mean? He could wear, he could have spent his life savings on that chain yeah. or the watch and then be broke. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? But it's it's and it's the image, it's like what yeah. is the so people that you know aren't really doing anything for themselves, they'll look at that and be like, but he's got everything. They don't know what he's actually going yeah, through. Yeah, man. So and then they just like up at him. So I feel like and the thing is as well, when it when that happened to Nipsey, like that broke my heart in it. Because mm. I was I just felt like Heartbreak. This guy, like, he's not doing nothing. Like, he's he wants to be. He's like just living his life, doing his best, making the best out of his the opportunity he's got, and he's just winning. And someone else is gonna hit the like someone else that's lazy is just gonna go and hit him up like that. It's mad. So with the PMB thing, yes, unfortunate man. But what are you meant to do? Like, you're not meant to wear nice things. You're not meant to like be successful. You're not meant to make money without. He's have, going out in public, you're meant to have like bodyguards all up, you know what I mean? You, what can you do? <laughs> yeah. What can you do? It's, it's an interesting one. Um, one of, I, I, we had a guest on here um, a couple months ago who was saying similar to what you're saying, yeah. which is, um, you know, having a gold chain and this, that and the other, it, it attracts the evil lie. Mm. Like, like you hope that it gives like young people or other people, peers and whatnot, um, motivation yeah, to want to yeah. do well, but it also can kind of give them the wrong type of motivation yeah, yeah, and yeah. it can attract the evil eye. And like you said, someone who, I don't know about lazy, that, that might be a bit harsh, yeah, harsh. Um, but someone who's not so, who's not doing well for themselves. Yeah, yeah. Can, can, Perfect one. Yeah, can see an opportunity, or it could just be out of hatred or yeah, an yeah, yeah, envy, yeah. or it could be I genuinely want to try to remove that from him so I can sell it for money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's one of those sad situations, man. But it's 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 like it's us all the time. Yeah, man. It's, I know, I know. It's black people know, all the time. I know. I know that there was that thing that happened in Liverpool. Um, that shooting, that little girl that died, R.I.P. to that little girl. That, that that's obviously tragic. Yeah. But it's it that looked like from the pictures I've seen so far, that looked like that was a, a white gang, okay, like a, like a okay, white okay. white thing up there. I'm not okay, sure. Okay. Um, I haven't seen many pictures, but I've seen a couple. Yeah. But like you know that that's that's um, yeah, the one off. Not the one-off, but that doesn't happen. Yeah, a lot. It doesn't yeah, happen very often. Most of the time yeah. when it when it hits the news or yeah. even the ones that don't make the news, it, it's usually us, man. Where, yeah, 100%. You know. Do you think there's um, the, a link between that and, like, just, like, the black community as a whole being in deprivation? And... 